Hi everyone, this is Cameron over at Nankin Hobby. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be installing Real Flight Evolution on your computer. Now to start, you do need a couple of things before you can actually get it downloaded. First and foremost, you need your copy of Real Flight Evolution, which is going to be a Steam key inside of the box. And I'm going to show you how to install Steam so that way you can redeem that key and get everything installed. I would also recommend that you have a control, a radio or a transmitter of your choice, mine per personally being the NX8 model from Spectrum, and you're also going to need the wireless simulator USB dongle to go along with that. Now, to get started with everything, what we are going to do is we're going to open up web browser of your choice, my personal preference is Opera, so you'll use Microsoft Edge, Chrome, any sort of web browser that you're going to utilize. Um, obviously, we'll just go the easy route and we'll just go to Google, um, and then you'll just type in the keyword Steam. The first one you want to look for is this link right here where it says Welcome to Steam. Um, I personally already have an account, but if you are do not have an account, what I would recommend to do is go ahead and hit log in and what you'll do down here is you'll scroll down a little bit and hit join Steam and then what you're going to do is you're going to create your account and you're going to add your email address and country of residence and do the process of following the recapture. I would definitely recommend opening up your email and making sure you have that open. They will send you a verification code on your email very quickly. Once you have that set up, that's what's going to allow you to redeem the code. Okay, so once you have Steam downloaded, what you're going to do is you're going to go, I would recommend download it to your desktop, and when you actually go there and you click install, it's going to bring up an option on their website for you to download the setup. We already have a copy of the setup, but I'm going to go ahead and re-download it anyway, just so that you can see what it would do. So and then once you do it, you're going to go to your desktop, click the Steam Setup, click Next, select your language, click Next, and then click Install after that. Once it is installed, you're going to go ahead and you're going to log into your account. And when you log into your account, it's going to look something similar to this. So now you can, once you have activated your Steam account, you can go ahead and you can type in your username and you can go ahead and log in. This is not a required portion of this. This is something that I set up. And now we are logged in. And then what you will do is you will go ahead and you will unbox your copy of Real Flight Evolution as I've already done. Inside you are going to get this nifty little card. Inside is also instructions on how to download it as well as your redemption code for Real Flight Evolution via Steam. When you go to download it you're going to go up to your games option right here and you're going to click activate a product on Steam. You'll go ahead and click next this is just their subscriber agreement. Go ahead and click I agree. Now, it is a case sensitive key. So on mine, all of them are capitalized. So I would go ahead and type in my entire key following all caps and following the exact format that you see on the card. That is the best way I have ever found to redeem any sort of product like this via Steam. It always works. I've never had an issue with it otherwise. Once it is redeemed, you're going to go ahead and install it, which I've already taken the liberty of going ahead and doing. So as you can see on the side here, there are a bunch of different other games and simulators. What you'll do is if you have a lot, scroll down the list, click on Real Flight Evolution, and it should go ahead and start download. It should have already started downloading. If not, go ahead and click the install button that's going to show up like here. And you'll go ahead and do that. Depending on your internet connection, can take a few minutes, up to an hour. Depends on how you really want to do it. 
Um, now your next biggest step is going to be when you go to actually start Real Flight Evolution and want to start flying. That's when you're going to go ahead and you're going to grab your radio, you're going to grab your USB dongle. And when you go to plug this into your computer, there is a bind button right here that you're going to do is you're going to press and click and hold that in while you insert the dongle into your computer. As you can hear, my computer just recognized it. And once you do that, it's going to start flashing orange, just like it would on any normal RC receiver. If you don't know what that would look like, it's going to just be a very rapidly blinking orange light on the inside of the dongle. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and power up your radio. So mine is up powered on. What you're going to do is within your scroll wheel or your bind button on top, I like doing it through the menu. So what I'll do is I'll click my scroll wheel and I will scroll down until I find my bind option. I'll go ahead and click my bind option and it's asking me to go ahead and put my radio into bind mode. I'm going to go ahead and do that and hit yes. And then it's going to put my, radio, my transmitter into a bind mode, like so. And then it's going to start binding. So that bind actually failed. Let me try that one more time. So now I'm going to bind it again, and you can see now it's actually recognizing signal, and it's reading something. And once it goes back to this main screen, you are now bound up, and you are ready to go ahead and hit play and start flying. And now you're ready to start using Real Flight Evolution. But there's a whole lot more to learning to fly than just the installation. So if you'd like to see more tips and tricks videos about Real Flight Evolution, leave a comment down below. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the channel, share this video with your friends, and we will catch you on the next one.